Good evening. I'm Sonia Hill. And I'm Drew Spire. Thanks for joining us. So as we all know, income tax season is now in full swing, and a lot of people choose to buy cars with their refund checks. Yeah, they do, but look out because there's also a scam going on with criminals forging the titles of cars heavily damaged by Hurricane Harvey and then selling them for cheap. Dr. Brad Hoffman joins mm -hmm. us now to tell us buyer beware on this one. That's right, and it's all about this piece of paper right here that we're going to tell you about. That's right, if it's too good to be true, it usually isn't. Imagine buying a car, then taking the title to the DMV, them looking at it, and them telling you it's fake, and you can't drive the car. All you can do is sell the car you just bought, and in many cases for 10000 bucks for parts. So the guy just paid money for a vehicle, and now all he can do is sell it for parts. That's correct. Don't let this be you. Imagine buying a car with a title that says the car is valued at $23,000, and you got it for under ten, cash. You take the title to DMV to get the car in your name, and they tell you this. The car can't even be on the road. Noises County Tax Collector Assessor Kevin Kieschnick says this is a problem and it's getting worse. There are fake titles out there. We've seen some counterfeit titles coming coming through and, and we anticipate seeing more. Kieschnick says that the forgers are buying cars from junkyards with a title that says the car is unrepairable and cannot be on the road. The forger somehow gets the car running and forges a new title. The forger puts the car on a website like Craigslist for thousands less than the car is worth. And you, not knowing what a title looks like, pay this person in good faith. It's been a lot of people buying vehicles, they don't realize what they're, what they're purchasing. So what should you do? First, with the car. Get the car inspected. Take it to a mechanic shop and have them take a look at it. And then, what about the title? You need to look at the title document. If in, in doubt, bring it to our office. We'll be happy to take a look at it. There are also a lot of helpful websites available. We found one at Texas Department of Motor Vehicles, or TXDMV.gov. There are several ways to safeguard against this fraud. One of them is this little gray line right here. You probably can't see it real well, but if you want to get out your title at home, and there's a little gray line that actually has words on it. Now, a fake title. There's just a gray line. For more information to keep you from being ripped off, go to our website, kztv10.com. Dr. Brad Hoffman, Action 10 News.